say in America, Captain Hart? We have a job to do. This time it is even more important than your previous splendid work with the free French. Thank you, sir. An airfield at Carby is most vital to the Allies. I understand, sir. You and Sergeant Jenkins will leave immediately for a preliminary survey. And this isn't going to be easy because you'll have to deal with Chief Salangi. Chief Salangi, sir? Who's he? One of the tribal leaders. A scoundrel, a Nazi whistling. He's been traveling all over the colony trying to prepare a fifth column uprising for Hitler. I need not remind you this is worse than all the dangers of the jungle. Yes, sir. It will also be your duty to act, uh, shall we say, as an ambassador at large, and to try to prevent the chief's influence from spreading. Do all you can to promote goodwill and our friendship toward them. Remember, time is an important factor. I'll do my best, sir. Which will be good enough, I'm sure. I shall start the detachment for Carby in two weeks. We'll be ready for them, sir. The native carriers and supplies are now waiting for you at Dalhousie. Be careful of your surveying instruments. They are scarce. Any questions? No questions, sir. And good luck, Captain Hart. Thank you, sir. And you too, Sergeant. Remember, keep an eye on Chief Salangi and the native. Yes, sir. Not Broadway in 40 seconds, Steve. What were you dreaming about? It's one two of the most beautiful dogs you ever seen. All sometime, like in Coney Island, and we're in Sarah. Listen, Junior. The glamour girls in Africa are just a trifle more than Sunday. Hmm? Yeah, and they don't wear sarongs. Oh, sarongs? Hey, what are you getting me into? Can't we get these red chaps to carry this stuff? Kalea, all you say is true. 
But those devils wouldn't have a chance with Chief Salangi and his savages. And you, they're just waiting for a chance to boil you alive because of your influence over these people. I kill him. No, Kulea. Things are bad enough without getting these natives at each other's throats. Why, Chief Salangi started eight column here. No. Fifth column. Well, fifth column or eighth column. You're not helping any by starting a war now. Much go, watcha. Much go, watcha. Leia. Kulea, child, won't you try to understand? I understand. Dr. Harrigan, very smart man. But I still want you to kill Chief Salangi. No. I think you'd better come with me. Anna. Anna. What is it? Watch the tavern. I have some business to attend to. Business? I'm tired of your business. Tired of the jungles. I want to get out of here. Hold your tongue. This place is driving me crazy. Oh, George, please, let's go away. Please. Shut up. As I was saying, my dear, killing is one of the law instincts. We must always learn to keep it under control. What about drinking whiskey, Doctor? It'll kill you very soon that way. Yes, I, I admit drinking is very unfortunate. No one knows that better than I. Oh, I'm sorry, Doctor. Kulea, she is very dumb to go. No, child. You're very smart. Kalea, wouldn't you like to get away from Caribbean? Oh, no. I like Caribbean. Kalea likes to swim, shoot jungle cats, wild birds. I belong here. No, you don't belong. Did Leia not belong here? Well, I, I didn't mean that. I remember your mother and father were missionaries. They didn't run around dressed like that or hunt lions or shoot wild birds. Maybe if they did, they would kill Sri Lanka before he killed them. What do you mean by that? Question. I read it in the book. Yes, I. I found this book after your mother and father died. Chief Longy killed them. You listen, I read. January 10, 1920. The unrest among the natives continues. Troops are expected every day. I pray to God they will arrive in time to save my wife and baby from sheep slime. Now I get Brito and I go. Leah, I want you to promise me one thing. You'll forget all about Chief Salon. Bible technique. But I've done the best I could with that. And quite a strain spiritually. Spiritually. I feel the need of a little drink. Hey, Gary. What do you want? Let's rest a while. Before the war, I wouldn't have done this for all the salons in Africa. Listen, sweetheart, didn't I? Okay, okay. So there ain't any salons in Africa. Well, why not? 
I ask you, why not? Ain't we doing our duty? One little sarong would give me something to sweat for. <laughs> okay, cheer up, cheer up, sweetheart. You'll soon be up to your ears in work, and you won't have time to think about women. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Listen, come on, let's go. Jerry Hammer! So you can rest and just drop me now. All I want to do is just sit down for a while. Wait. Yeah. Clarky, this map, Caribbean must be less than five miles away. Shall we get out and walk? It's such a lovely day. What's the matter with you? Look, a fugitive from Barnum and Bailey's. Oh, mm. Don't be afraid. Remember the old adage, never bother a lion, he won't bother you. Who's bothering them? Did I say anything? Did I so much? Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Enjoy, how about? Shickle with his head down. Now don't worry, Ponga. I'm not going to let anything happen to you and your boys. Tell them to pick up their packs and go ahead. No go. Bad sign. No go. Now, listen. Hey, let me talk to him. Now, listen, Ping Pong. White man, your friend. You get scalped from Japs and Nazis. You give Tongo present. No go. Maybe boys get killed. Killed. How do you like that? Listen, we've got to get this stuff to Caribbean or the Allies won't get that airfield. Maybe we ought to call a cab. Listen, Punga, do you know what this gun can do? Yes. Shoot. Kill. Hey, you better tell that gang of those to pick up those packs like good little boys. White man kill all over. White man make war. This, bad sign. Chief Salangan, bring white man's war. Now we're getting somewhere. Did you say Chief Salangi? Yes, he here. Mama here say he here. Make trouble. Ah, so that's it. That's the trouble the Major warned us about. Yeah. Well, if he's here, why don't he come out and fight like a man? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find a needle in a haystack. Let's get back to the boys. Looks like they ditched us. Yeah, that makes us a couple of babes in the woods. And brother, I mean woods. What do we do now? Uh, I guess we gotta leave the packs here. And when we get more natives at Caribbean, we can come back and pick them up. Let's go. Rico! Rico, look! Mike, listen. Yeah. Boy, is that boogie woogie. Must be close to some village. We'll go there and get some help.
Sir. I've just contacted Berlin. Our African High Command expects to launch an attack within three weeks. The way must be open for a pincer movement of Belhazi. That will give the Germans complete control of this area as far as the sea if we complete our movements in Caribbean before the Free French detachment arrives. So it is very important for you that you will organize your natives as quickly as possible. This is already being done. Fine. Oh, yes, I understand you are running into some difficulty with the natives of Caribe Village. It is not easy. Pelea? Yes, she has tremendous influence among the natives. A mere slip of a girl must not obstruct the destiny of the new order. If she is killed, the natives would seek revenge. A war among the natives would not help the movement of the German troops. Quite true, but Pelea must be dealt with. Oh, yes, another thing. What has been done about the two American engineers who are coming to Caribe to survey for an airfield for the Free French? They will not reach Caribe. Good. Our leader will not forget this, sir. You shall be rewarded. My eternal thanks. holding a convention of zombies. Uh-oh. Our Western Union boys are delivering a singing telegram. You see what I see? Yeah. Quick, follow me. Wait a minute. Might be a trick. Yeah, a cute trick. Quick. Wonder what a game is. Whatever it is, I'll play on her team. Come with me. Are you a friend? Maybe at a time like this, you'd better be. What do you think? Better take a chance. Here.
Quick, follow me. Hey, now, wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Clea. I help you. Hurry! Hurry! Quick! She looks like the real McCoy. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. With these packs, are you kidding? Better take a chance and hide them. What's a pretty girl like you doing in the jungle? Why, pretty man in jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you, lady. Yeah, you saved my life, baby. Yeah, why don't you tell us you couldn't swim, stupid? At a time like this, do I know what I'm doing? Where you go? Uh, lady, we're going to Caribbean. Can you, uh... Caribbean? Yeah. Yes, I'd take you. I live Caribbean. Come. Oh. No sarongs in Africa, huh? Hey, come here, come here, come here. Julia, the arrow belongs to her. It was meant for me. It gave it necessary to eliminate her like a missionary parent years ago. Remember the influence she has among the natives. That is you, boy. Now, what about the engineers? I will see. Nakana Alka Gawawa. Answer me. And don't have a cathedral in Marekani. Letting them get away is a fine mess. Instead of speeding up our plans, we are falling back. Let me remind you once more of the destiny of the Third Reich. I do not need reminding here, Lucas. I know these natives better than you. The law of the jungle always has been and always will be a thing apart from the white man's law. New order or no, it must be dealt with accordingly. In my own way. Uh, we shouldn't lose our temper this way. You're quite right. I must get back to Caraby. Perhaps the Americans are there by now. There's Caraby. Gosh, I'm sure glad to see that place. I want to thank you, miss. Hey, baby, what's your phone number? Phone? What's your phone? Well, just put a nickel on the phone. Wait a minute. Hmm? I want to ask you something. What you ask? Did you kill that lady back there? She's the line you bring death in the jungle, make everybody sad. Salangi? You don't mean that big guy with all those feathers, those beads, all that stuff around his neck. That was... She's Salangi. Can you imagine that, Sarge? And we were only a few feet away from him. Yeah, you think it'd be mad because we didn't drop in for tea? I bet he had something to do with killing one of our boys. I might kill him. Well, then it was you. You did kill that native. I do now. You keep eyes shut like jungle cats. Much danger. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where do you live? What, what a dish. Gosh. Can you imagine that, Sarge? A white girl in the African jungle. Properly raised by the natives. I wonder who she is. Where she came from, what she's doing here. Why worry about details? Now, wherever she is, I bet, I bet we'll run into her again. She can tip us off to a lot of things. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, maybe she's got a girlfriend. Or you. That's just Caribbean.
Needs an FHA loan. Quiet, Sergeant. You're in the Army now. <laughs> hey, I'm beginning to like Africa. So welcome, gentlemen. American? Oh, yes, miss. I'm Captain Gary Hart of the Free French. How do you do, Captain? How do you do? Sergeant Jenkins. Glad to meet you. I'm Anna Lucas. My husband and I own the tavern. You look as if you've gone through ten wars, Captain. <laughs> Lady, what happened to us should happen to Hitler. What this sergeant means, miss, is that we can use a little food and sleep. Well, then you've come to the right place. I uh, hope you find everything you need right here. So well, we got no one to blame but ourselves. Won't you come in? Thank you. She's sort of a home type, ain't she? Now listen, Junior. I want you to keep your mind in surveying and keep your trap shut about what happened today. About Kulea and everything. No telling what we'll run into. Hey, you think I'm not dumb? Now, did you tell me, Anna? Welcome, my friends, to Caribbean. This is my husband, George Captain Hart. How do you do? And Sarge. So Mike Jenkins is the name behind. Did you meet the gentleman? There's very much comfort here, I'm afraid, but our hospitality is unequal. Your wife has made us feel quite at home already. Has uh, she? Well, my wife and myself will be both of you, sir. These gentlemen are going to build an airfield at Kirby. Is that so? Not quite. You see, we're just uh, surveyors with the Free French Engineering Corps. Just surveyors? Why, General De Gaulle and us are just like that. <laughs> well, in that case, your presence is an honor, Sergeant. We'd like to clean up a bit for dinner, if you don't mind. Of course, I'll, I'll show you to your room. You gentlemen must have run into some trouble. Did your carriers walk out on you? Yes. How did you know? Well, it is nothing unusual. Murder, native uprisings are increasing since the war. When did it all end? Oh, war, war. You must promise me not to talk about it, at least until after dinner. It's a promise. This way, gentlemen. Swine. Uh, this is your room. Dinner will be ready as soon as you are. Thank you. Uh, if there's anything I can do for you to make your stay more comfortable, please don't hesitate to ask. You're very kind. Hey, there's something about that gal puzzles me. She probably feels the same way about you, Sergeant. Why, well, there's nothing complicated about me. <laughs> You're telling me. More wine? No, thank you. I want to offer a toast to the war. For bringing to Caribbean it's most charming, yes. Well put, my dear. I'll drink to that. Play the gramophone, Anna. Perhaps you and Captain Hart would like to dance. Well, Anna, she scarcely gets a chance to dance. Perhaps Captain Hart doesn't want to dance. As a matter of fact, I like to very much. Sure, go ahead and dance with the Captain, Mr. Lucas. He's so light on your feet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Mr. Lucas, how do we go about getting new carriers? You see, he left our pack back on the trail. That's hard to answer. Between their superstitions and feuds with other tribes, the natives are very hard to handle. However, I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you. I'm afraid I don't dance too well, Mr. Lucas. Very well, Captain. Thank you. You know, Mr. Lucas, I did that for 152 hours one time. Then what happened? I don't know. I woke up in a hospital and nurse hold my hand. So I said, what am I doing at surgery? <laughs> And don't stay in Caribbean. What makes you say that? It's dangerous. There's no telling what's behind. Thanks very much for your advice, lady, but I'm in the army now. Captain, you're a delightfully stubborn man. <laughs> Yeah. 
Diana, your flirtation with the Americans was a wonderful smoke screen. For a while, I thought it was real. Fancy me. <laughs> the jealous husband. Good night, Captain Hart and Sergeant Jenkins will hold a flirtation with death. suppose you gentlemen uh, witnessed the drenching that I got? Yes, Doctor, I'm afraid we did. Oh, these eternal bowels. I should think one bucket would have been enough. Captain, you're looking at Caribbean's guardian angel. Not only Caribbean's, Doctor. Ours as well. Sure, Doctor. If it wasn't for her, we'd be cannibal pot roast right now. <laughs> Why, Kalea, how did that happen? Oh, uh, nothing, Doctor. Big leopard attack. Oh, leopard attack? Yes, I killed it. Oh, I think I could stand a little drink. Would you gentlemen yeah, join me? Yes. And you, Captain? I'll join you later, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. Very good, sir. Leah. What's the matter? Nothing. Mind if I walk with you? Then, okay. You like women in tavern? Like women? <laughs> oh, you mean Mrs. Lucas? Yeah, she's all right, I suppose. Hold her close and dance. You like that, huh? Why, yeah. Hey, what do you mean? Why you walk with me? Go away. Claire hates you. What's got into you? What get into you? Now listen, what's this all about? Sorry. Something inside makes me hate the other woman when you hold her close. Claire, she much as she there's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, you're a funny kid. What is funny kid? Well, it means that you're something to write home about. Something that you wanted to meet and yet never really expected to. You nice white man. You act as if you've never seen a white man before. Not nice white man. Look, it's like old hyena. Doctor, like gentle lamb. But you, you like... I understand. 
just something that catches up with two people. This man before? What you think? Hey, Carl. I funny kid. Yes, Captain, say so. Not wild. Well, I just killed a sheep because he was dead. Oh, I'm very sad tonight. Happy too. I have funny kids. as soon as I get some clothes on. Captain Hart, don't ask me. Just listen to me. You must be terribly at once. Your life is in danger. Now, lady, right now, millions of lives are in danger. Oh, don't be a fool. Dad, I'm talking about immediate danger. 
But now perhaps it's Vernon. Say, why are you so concerned about me? I told you not to ask questions. But I am asking. And I expect an answer. I told you once before, Mrs. Lucas, I'm in the army now. I couldn't leave if I wanted to. Besides, it so happens I don't want to be the middleman in any marital mission. Mrs. Lucas, I'm hard-headed fool. about the chief who's going to kill Captain Hart. Well, I've got reason to believe he tried it once before. That he not only frightened off our carriers, but killed one of them besides. I'm inclined to agree with you, Captain. That would be difficult to prove. How blind all of you are. This is all Kulea's doing. She obviously attacked the innocent native, hoping that her Tanji tribe would war against Chief Thongi's people. This is not true. I love Tanji people. What do you know about love? You're just a bloodthirsty little savage. Oh, here, child, child. Hold it, hold it, hold it. A strange little beast. Hi, beast. I see you with Captain Hart. You like wild animal when in his arms. I think I can explain all that, Mr. Lucas. You see, Mrs. Lucas came to warn me about... There is no need to explain further, Captain. Come on, Anna. Very late. Good night, gentlemen. Are you wrong? No, Clay. It's all right. You know, <clears throat> there's nothing like a practical lesson in human behavior. Yes, uh, Don't apologize, son. Clay is good enough for any man. I knew her mother and father well. Well, what are you thinking about? Uh, what a mess she's got, Captain. Good night. You have no regard for me, at least remember one thing. They're here for a certain purpose. The Third Reich is more important than your swinish love affair. They're a servant of the Fuhrer. The Fuhrer! That's all I ever hear. I hate it. I hate you everything here. Hey, another ten days of this, and I'll have a physique like Buster Crab. <coughs> After that experience last night, we might easily run into a trap today with those new boys. Yeah, sure. What about that gal? What gal? What gal? You know what gal. Look at your wife. Did she really come up here last night to warn you? Yep. Anything else? Anything else, Junior, is a military secret. Okay, Captain Casanova. What about Kalea? What about it? I'm asking you. I suppose you tell me. Oh, fine. Trying to get something out of you is like drilling the Army intelligence. Haven't got time for frivolous things. And catch him be here in a few days. I want to be ready for him. Frivolous? Hey, which one's frivolous? Kulea or that Lucas girl? That's enough, Junior. 
The boys are waiting for us. Hurry up. Uh, I'm only trying to get some information. I'm not fucking up with you. That's the way. Men are going to run into some trouble. Oh, Doctor. They went out into the jungle early this morning. The natives? No, I never saw them before. That's what worries me. After what happened last night, I... Say, why should Lucas get strange carriers for the captain? After all, there are plenty of natives in the village to do the job. Doctor, no time now to think of Lucas. I go to Captain Hart. No, no, not alone you won't. This time I bring my friends from the village. You go, Doctor. Hurry, tell natives to get ready. Yes. I dress. Looks like someone beat us to the pack. Yeah, stuff's gone. What do we do now? Sickle grouper again. Yeah, it's the language calling card. Yeah, there was only one thing to do to convince those fellas. Hey, those babies like to play rough, don't they? Yeah, they tried to lead us into an ambush. Isn't over yet. Well, if it ain't, William, tell us so long. Much obliged, Kalea. Boys, you had bad. I bring good boys. You think of everything, don't you? I funny kids. Hey, how about all the equipment? Yeah, we've got to get that stuff back. So? Yeah, all our packs and everything. We had to leave them here when the boys ran off. They don't know where to find stuff. Come, you go call and shift the luggage. Still doing business at the old stand. Yeah. Got our equipment, too. Can we rush him? No, no, there's too many quail. I kill him. You get what's coming. I got an idea. We dump some bullets in their fire. That sure scatter them. It sure looks silly walking up to them and saying, pardon me while I dump some bullets in your fire. Wait. Clear. You have that arrow. What's what to do? do? Mike, give me some bullets, quick. Uh, I get it. So just stick around and we'll give you an idea of a Yankee Fourth of July. There. Mm -hmm. Can you hit that fire? Sure, I hit it. Good. Get down right in the center of it. Hurry.
12 boys. This place will be done in no time at all. Yeah. When we get this jumping off place for bombers finished, we... We ought to call it Kalea Field. No, there wouldn't be any field or... Or even us if it wasn't for Kalea. Junior, you've got something there. Yeah, that's swell. I'll take it up with the Major. Hey, uh... You ain't been seen much of her lately. How come? Mike, has it ever occurred to you that the combination of a girl like Kalea, the tropics, particularly the tropical nights, don't mix with work? Well, you can always give up work. Look, Mike, we got a job to do. We got to do it quick. You know, this thing of Chief Lang trying to throw a monkey wrench into the work isn't just his idea. What do you mean? Oh, the Germans can use an air base down here. And I'd certainly hate to put in all this work only to have the Heinies take over. Yeah, so would I. Hey, skip what I said. I'm with you 100%. Well, it'd be great to see a flock of American bombers taken off from this place, won't it? Yeah, certainly will. Only... Let's skip it. Wait a minute, Mike. What are you going to say? Yeah, it's just a thought. When all those flyers get down here, my... Oh, you won't be so What you see in there? It's pretty as me. Hello, Kalea. I didn't know that you were around. Oh, Kalea, find that out. You're not even no Kalea living. I'm not to you or talk to you for many days. Sorry about that, but, well, I've been pretty busy. I know. Work, work. Always work. Got to your you say you finish soon, then you go away. You speak to Yes, I guess so. A fellow never knows what'll happen with a war going on. Are you miss me? Yeah, I miss you like she miss sky and stars. Only much more. Just kiss Kule and say you'll never go away. Hey! Hey, I thought you were strictly a straight line guy. How come you going in for kites? I'll pay the lights busy. I'll call later. They'll love you. Say you'd love her and you never leave. Uh, not if I can help her, darling. This war's not going to last forever. You make the day very happy. Ask him what happened. Ah! Give us another one. Another one. Two in less than five minutes. It must be something serious. Let's get him to drop. Quick. Grab a leg, Junior. Boy, pick up this other one. That way. Hey. No, I don't think so. Plague doesn't affect a victim like that. Nor does tropical fever. These men are in a coma. Almost like death. I know what is wrong. What do you mean? You remember, Doctor. This thing happened once before when Chief Zelangi came to the village. By Jove, that's right. I had almost forgotten. It was over 15 years ago. Kalea was just a little girl then. You fixed them up then, Doctor. You fix them now. I'll do my best. <laughs> What are you saying? 
is convincing them that the Americans have caused the plague and that they should die. I believe your friend Captain Harden find it difficult to cope with this problem. You little chillin'? Well, I'm sure he is. After they torture him a bit. Why do you look so troubled, my dear? Big old. Stop, you lie. I will later tell you the truth. Ladi, see the magnura sheba kardav. Sahai, I'll help you. I'll help you hard. She seems to have everything under control. Uh, Junior, she's terrific. Hey, you got it bad, ain't you? Captain, they're coming out of it. Kalea was right. The men were drugged. That's fine, Doc. Keep working on it. Asa rogo, asa hiparindo, amiko sahi. Read, Quinta. Shurei ahoni. They're coming in to have a look, yeah? What do you say now, you troublemaker? You see, Dr. Harriet has made our men well, and they will live. Now get out. Get out! We will quit her. We go! Blair. Who is this king? Letting a girl make a fool of you. It could not be avoided. Next time, there will be no interference. You decided to eliminate her? Tonight, my men will take care of Kalea. It will be a relief to be rid of her. Years ago, her mother and father caused me trouble. You killed them. It was very necessary. Not nearly so necessary as it is to get Kulea out of the way. Our African High Command plans to assume charge here within 10 days. The maneuver completes an important pincer movement. Don't worry. Kalea will interfere no more. With Kulea gone, the elimination of the American swine will be comparatively simple. In fact, I have a plan. Anna! Hey, what is this? It is the end of your cooperation with the free French, Captain Hart. Get rest quietly. What's all that mumbo jumbo, Doc? Same old story. Calling on the gods for vengeance because we killed those men. Sick of it is, they're not dead at all. He'll pull them out of it with some hocus pocus. And the friendly natives will turn savage with joy. I can remember the look. Fine thing for a guy from a beautiful place like Brooklyn to have to die in a briar patch like this. Tell them you will restore the dead man back to life in exchange for their help and the lives of the prisoners. Laura, Rahai, who pogged me? Hey, Lucas, I'm pogged you and Salavogo. Now he's demanding our lives in return for the miracle he's about to perform. Why did you kill your wife? She was just about to free Captain Hart. I'll get on with the ceremony. Allah, hurrahai. Hurrahai, amigo, Allah, hurrahai. 
can bring dead men back to life. Show Kulea how you make him live again. Well, go ahead, bring your friend back to life. Go ahead. Well, what are you waiting for? She's calling his bluff. She gets away with it. Major Renault. Captain Hart calling Major Renault. Go ahead, Captain Hart. You're ready for the planes here, sir. You'd better send them along quick. The Germans are planning on taking over the airfield. Are you positive? As we uncovered a fifth column slot here, make your hair curl. Excellent work, Captain. We will send fighting planes and bombers immediately. Now, that's fine, Major. Oh, say, if you've got a chaplain on the post there, you'd uh, better send him along, too. They are going to be Mrs. Captain Gary Hart, no? Yes, darling. <laughs> 